Hey, yo? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. What is going on? Hello? Doc Ock, why are we not in 1080? Ever since I got bit by that spider, I've only had one week where my life is filled. Okay, so some scenes from the first trailer. That was when you found out. When you botched that spell where you wanted everyone to forget the Peter Parker spider man. We started getting some visitors. Ayo from every universe. Wait a second, hang on, hang on. I gotta see that. From every It looks like they've kept these old suit. That's the one thing I was worried about. I was hoping that they wouldn't uh have like uh the comic book suit of Green Goblin with like the purple and the green. Because the Sam Raimi Green Goblin actually looks perfect. Universe Ooh. Ooh, that's clean. The black and gold. Ooh. Auto. Okay, the bridge scene. Hello, Peter. Hello, Peter. Oh, extended. Okay. You're not Peter Parker. Oh. Wait right, a second. What was your name again? Dr. Otto Octavius. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, seriously, what's your actual name? There are others out there. We need to send them back. So, Scooby-Doo this crap. You know, all this is kind of your mess. I know a couple of magic words myself, starting with the word please. Please, Scooby-Doo this crap. You're flying out into the darkness to fight ghosts. What do you mean? They all die fighting Spider-Man. It's their fate. I'm sorry, kid. Yeah, me too. Don't. Look, there has to be another way. There isn't. They're a danger to our universe. Ooh. Another take this away from me. Ooh. You're struggling to have everything you want. Oh my god. Tries to make you choose. This is all my fault. I can't save everyone. Oh no. They're starting to come through, and I can't stop them. December 17th, exclusively in movie theaters. Tickets on sale November 29th. Spider- Wait. Wait. I have goosebumps. Oh. My God. That was so much to take in. Hang on, we gotta start that over. We have to analyze that. We'll just pause as we go, okay? We'll we'll be pausing a lot now. By that spider. Okay, so that's obviously from the first trailer that we saw. That was Mysterio uh, spreading the news of, of, of uh, Peter Parker being Spider-Man. That was the, the first trailer that we saw. Uh, J. Jonah Jameson has named him public enemy number one. He's revealed it over on the Daily Bugle. And this is all from the one week. The, the the first trailer. Even this scene is from the first trailer. That was all from the first trailer. Even this little bit is from the first trailer. This is new. Swinging in the subway, that's new. Okay, we get the shot of the Sanctum again. Peter going to the Sanctum. We see the snow still there. Um, Obviously, I, I guess that's because it's Christmas time. That's why there's snow. There could be some other meaning behind it. Um, that connects into some other movie. I haven't seen Shang-Chi yet, so 
I don't know if there's anything in Shang-Chi that connects to the snow in the sanctum. Um, I wanted everyone to forget the Peter Parker Spider-Man. Okay, there's the spell going wrong that we know of. You can see it's completely unstable. And then we see the multiverse starting to split over here. I'm really hoping at the point in time when the spell goes wrong is going to be uh, at a timeline in which you can watch WandaVision and Loki at the same time. Uh, I think it's around 28 minutes in those uh, series because Loki, the multiverse, breaks uh, Kang. Kang? Is his name Kang? Kang the Conqueror. Was his name Kang? Kang the Conqueror? I think his name was Kang. I forget. I haven't seen Loki in a while. Um, he says we just have passed that threshold at around 28 minutes. Wanda becomes the Scarlet Witch in WandaVision at 28 minutes, I believe. So if the spell breaks at 28 minutes, that means all three of them, Doctor Strange, Wanda, um, and Loki, they broke the timeline. They broke it into the multiverse. We started getting some visitors. Okay, we've seen this shot already. The Green Goblin, the pumpkin ball. Pumpkin bomb, whatever you want to call it. We've seen that explosion on the bridge. Actually seeing him show up, though. Oh my god. That shot right there is money. That shot, this shot right here of him appearing through the smoke is money. Because this is the first shot we've seen of him for uh, the Tom Holland franchise. Right? And seeing the old suit. Ooh, I love that suit so much. Universe. Okay, there, that was a shot of Electro. They've made Electro now yellow to match with the comic book self. And that's also a thing I was wondering. Uh, they made Electro accurate to his comic book self. I was wondering how they were going to do um, uh, Dr. Osborne, Green Goblin. Um, I was hoping that they weren't going to make him comic book um, similar. Because the comic book, he has a, uh, a purple hat and whatnot. And he's got purple accents on the green. Um, so I was kind of hoping that they wouldn't do that, which is nice. They've kept the old suit, it seems, which I actually adore that a lot. This suit, we also get a shot later on in this trailer we just saw. It seems like this is Tony's technology mixed with Doctor Strange's magic somehow. And I'm curious to see how he makes the suit. Because we know Peter now has, uh, he has all of uh, Tony's tech now. He can make suits we've seen in, um, in in Far From Home. I'm curious to see how he made that. Okay, we get the shot of uh, Doc Ock again. Hello, Peter. We get the classic Hello, Peter. And we get an extended version of this. I'm trying to look in like the backgrounds to see if there's anything that we can't see. It seems like he's, uh, his arms and such is still pretty much the same from uh, what it was in the Sam Raimi universe. I don't see anything quite out of place. This seems to be... This actually seems to be happening before Green Goblin shows up. Is what I'm noticing. Because the pumpkin bomb uh, dropped about right here. Right? And then the smoke was over here and Green Goblin appeared like over here. So this seems to be before Green Goblin shows up. So I'm kind of curious on like... How this goes. Okay, and then this I also noticed the first time we watched it. I I just, hang on. Notice Peter's suit is missing a chunk of nanobots. He's using nanobot technology from Tony's suit. Um, we, we know this because in the first trailer we see the suit uh, like activate on him as um, as he's on, the, on top of the car. So we can see there's uh, no, he, his chest is open over here. Uh, oh! Oh, that's what the red is. Okay, so if you look at... Hang on, let me move my camera. If you look at um, at Doc Ock's arm over here, it has this red accent on it. That's the nanobot. So it seems like the nanobots from Peter's suit somehow transferred onto Otto Octavius's... Uh, on Otto's technology of the, uh, the mechanical arms. So that's kind of fascinating. And because of... Because of the uh, nanobots missing here, 
we see his mask go down to his chest to protect him from whatever impact happening over here. But then we get this line, which kind of lets me think of a few theories already. You're not Peter Parker. You're not Peter Parker. Obviously, that was the main question. It seems like the nanobots on all of Otto's arms, which is... So we know that's nanobots now, because in the first trailer, there was no red accents. Earlier on in this trailer, we see... Okay, we have 57 seconds. Over here, we see no red accents. So we know that is the nanobots right now. This this Parker. line over here, you're not Peter Parker. That's kind of a theory that's been long running. He wouldn't know that Tom Holland Peter Parker was Peter Parker. Obviously, because we, we got the first trailer, we saw the scene. Um, He says, hello, Peter. But Peter doesn't have the suit on. So how would he know that that's Peter? Unless the suit was on, right? That's the whole thing. And there was a whole theory like, oh, he's not talking to Tom Holland Spider-Man. He's talking probably to Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. But this scene right here kind of confirms that. You're not Peter. You're not Peter Parker. So... Maybe he's not a villain in this movie? That's the one thing I can kind of come to. He still looks good after all these years. Like, goddamn. And the, the arms, they're, they're CGI now, I believe. The arms are now CGI. In the Sam Raimi one, it was all, um, it was mechanical. It was actual mechanics uh, with the green screen. So now that it's CGI, there's obviously going to be so much more that they're going to be doing with his character. And they've done a lot already when it was mechanical. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited to see what they're going to be doing with his character. <laughs> This, okay, now we see the smoke over here from the pumpkin bombs. And it seems like Peter's running away. He's picking up cars and stuff. He doesn't look like he has the nanotech on him anymore because Peter does have his full suit now. So this is before he says, you're not Peter Parker, I'm assuming. And he's still throwing stuff at Peter. So oh, that's... Sorry, what was your name again? Dr. Dr. This leads me to believe that, okay, he still has this sort of, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, there is still this sort of red tint accent on, on the arms you can still see. So he still has the nanobot technology. So what I'm assuming is Peter doesn't know how to get the, uh, the nanobots back from the from his arms, because now the nanotech is bonded to Otto's tech, right? This whole cage thing we've seen in the first trailer, where uh, it looks like something attacks Peter from behind. He turns to like look and block it, but it's blocked by some sort of glass or magic type thing that we're assuming Doctor Strange put up. So this doesn't actually seem like a... Uh, um, a uh, like a hostile thing this seems like a mutual understanding type thing like we're trying to trust you but we don't know if we can yet you just attacked us you like destroyed stuff on the bridge we don't know if we can trust you so we're going to put you in this cage and talk to you and then we got this funny moment over here of you're they laughing at the name Otto octavius <laughs> that's nice to see wait no seriously i will point out and it, i think kevin feige also said that like it was going to be like a real this movie is not supposed to be comical or humorous apparently it's supposed to be a very sad dark movie right out of all the spider-man like out of the the mcu timeline spider-man uh movies this one's supposed to be the darkest one so the the fact that they have this sort of funny moment in here seems to be like one of the few maybe that's going to happen and I'm still curious to see what's going to happen with Ned. I also think Flash now has blonde hair to match his comic book self. So that's also curious to see how Flash looks as well. Chrissy, what's your actual name? Yeah, so it looks like the nanotech is still on. Up, oh, I just. It looks like the nanotech is still on his uh his mechanical arm. And they, here we get a shot of Electro. We get the, the lightning strikes of Electro. And we know Electro is now yellow to match his comic book self. Um, 
which I actually prefer. Brothers out there, we need to send them back. Okay, there we get a shot of Electro, and here we get the shot of the new suit. So this this suit looks fire, bro. Oh my god! Black and gold with the uh. So I'm assuming this is probably still nanotech. This is probably still Tony's nanotech uh, in the suit. And then on top of it, Strange probably put a spell in some object that allows Peter to do whatever he's doing. Um, we got a shot of Electro drawing power from currents over here, which we can see that looks dope. Scooby Doo, this crap. We got a Scooby Doo you know, reference for some menace. reason. I know a couple of magic words myself, starting with the word please. Please, Scooby Doo, this crap. One other funny moment, which I'm assuming we're not going to get a lot of, so the more that we get, the better, I guess. Peter yeah, swinging over there in the dark suit. Here we get the first shot of the Sinister Six actually working together. We probably, actually, no, this. Kind of the second shot, maybe. Because if the scene where Doc Ock is throwing the car at Peter and he's picking up stuff and the smoke is behind him, we can assume that at that point in time, Doc Ock and Green Goblin were working together, right? It doesn't seem like they're working together for long, considering that they have Otto in, in that cell and they're talking to him and they're asking him questions and he's giving answers, what it seems like. So this is actually like, the first shot we see of the Sinister Six working together, we get the, the yellow lightning of Electro, and then we also get the sand from Sandman, who we know is confirmed in this movie. I think it's the same actor as Spider-Man 3, uh, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man 3. So, this is, like, actually kind of sick. We see a Daily Bugle over here. So, J. John Jameson's trying to get a news report on probably Spider-Man. They probably think Spider-Man's in the in this building where the cops are surrounding we see the camera set up here for the daily bugle and we get the attack of electro and sandman and we actually get a shot of j jonah jameson right here so we know he's trying to do the story we know he's trying to twist the story on spider-man as he does as his character does and he does it so well and so we love jk simmons Got into the dark. Right, there we get sandman over there and we get electro over here destroying the city I'm trying to see if we can see anything else in this wide shot doesn't seem like it. We just get a bit of destruction over here, a bit of explosions over here, and uh, Sandman going that way. Beautiful shot of the city, though, you know, ex minus all the destruction and whatnot. We get Spider Man swinging here over here. Hang on, wait, what did he say? Let me just get that again. To fight ghosts. What do you mean? To fight ghosts. You're flying out into the darkness to fight ghosts. You're flying out into the darkness to fight ghosts. You're flying out in the darkness to fight ghosts. Yo, you're flying out in the darkness to fight ghosts. We know Otto Octavius died. We know Green Goblin died. Sandman is still alive, though. We know Sandman's still alive. Tobey Maguire's Peter Parker forgave him. Right? You're flying out in the darkness to fight ghosts. That could just be saying, like, they all died. We all died in, a, in another universe, in another timeline. And now you have to fight us again, even though we're dead in that timeline. It's almost like you're fighting ghosts. It could be something like that. Maybe I'm overthinking it a little. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah, I'm asking the same thing, Peter. Here we get the, the Iron Spider. Um, the suit that we saw in Infinity War and Endgame. Love this suit, by the way. They all die fighting Spider-Man. They all die fighting Spider-Man. It's Spider their fate. It's their fate. Here we get this shot. So we, we get the shot of uh, Doctor Strange explaining the timeline. How he knows the timeline, I'm very curious to know. It's their fate. It's their fate. And yet, then we get this shot of Peter trying to stop uh, Pumpkin Bomb. We see the building. This is inside the building of... Um, Oh shit, this is inside the building that the Daily Bugle is outside. That we see Sandman and uh, Electro. Right? Earlier on. Uh, with J. John Jameson outside. So they're probably here to try to arrest Peter. Pumpkin Bomb comes in. And then what I'm assuming is going to happen. 
is that Happy is also here. Because we saw Happy in the first trailer uh, surrounded by a SWAT team and a building on fire. So this is probably the same building. I think Green Goblin is going for Aunt May. I'm sorry, kid. I'm sorry, kid. So Strange is basically saying here, you have to kill them. You have to kill these uh, villains that are from this other universe because not because just to save your timeline but because they have to die it's their fate it's their destiny it's written in their timelines it's inevitable we also see peter wearing his old suit again the, the suit that tony first gave him yeah, me. And then we get peter saying yeah me too i'm sorry too because peter doesn't want to kill anyone we know this. He's not okay with killing people. He's kind of like Steve Rogers in a sense. He just doesn't like bullies. Right? So he's not going to kill the Sinister Six off because it's their timeline because Strange wants to. And then we get this shot. Me too. Don't. Don't. And he takes that cube which seems to be uh, some way to trap the Sinister Six in and maybe kill him off one by one. Um, it's sad to think that Stan Lee's not going to see this. Oh, I just realized that. Oh, man. He's work. He's creation. He's not going to... Oh, man. So we get the shot of Peter trying to escape, but uh, looks like Doctor Strange, as Peter was about to throw out a web, Strange put out the portals the, that made the web stick to his own foot. And now he's going to grab Peter and he's going to do what we've seen in uh, the Doctor Strange movie of where the Ancient One kind of pushed his, his metaphysical form or whatever it was called out of his physical form or whatever. So we know that's some sort of magic over there. There, that's the shot I'm talking about, right? So we obviously see Strange is against Peter. Right, because Strange wants to kill them off. Peter doesn't want to kill them. He just wants to send them back to their timeline peacefully. But here we get the Eye of Agamotto, which was destroyed in Infinity War. So how he has it, I don't know. This could be some other version of Doctor Strange that the current timeline Doctor Strange brought in to help uh, against Peter. Because if anyone would know what would happen in the timeline, it would be Doctor Strange. And what better way to get Doctor Strange help than to get Doctor Strange to help Doctor Strange? All very confusing. I know. But we get this train scene that we saw in the first trailer. This is the shot I'm talking about. This looks like... This is Aunt May. This looks like in the building that uh, Peter's in trying to stop the pumpkin bomb. That we see Electro and Sandman outside, the Daily Bugle outside. It looks like Green Goblin's going for Aunt May. Which we've seen in the Sam Raimi Spider-Man. Um, we, we've seen that happen where she's like, his eyes, his horrible yellow eyes. We've seen Green Goblin go after Peter's family, right? The heart, Osborne, go for his heart. And that's kind of going on over here. So it's kind of cool to see that Green Goblin's pretty much still the same. Then we get Doc Ock over here fighting Peter again on the bridge, it looks like. Um, so this is probably where he loses a bits of nanotech, because then we see this happen. This looks like the nanotech applying itself onto, yeah, because it's kind of like going onto the, uh, the metal of the arms over here. The universe. <clears throat> oh, and then we get this shot. I love this shot so much. Look at that. We get the classic comic book electro kind of mask, but it's made out of electricity. I love that. What they've done here, I wish they've done in The Amazing Spider-Man, but I'm glad to have it in here. That looks so cool. Oh my god. And then he's as powerful as ever, but it looks like he's fighting Otto. Which is kind of why I'm saying that he, maybe Otto's not the bad guy in this. Maybe Otto is, uh, maybe Otto is, is trying to help Peter. Because Otto knows that Peter doesn't want to kill anyone. So. That seems to be what's happening over there. Right? So it seems like Electro is fighting Otto. 
Eater. Struggling. Then we get what sounds like Green Goblin talking over here. Struggling. You're struggling. Have everything you want. They have everything you want. And then we get the shot of Green Goblin. Oh my god, it looks just as good as ever. Have I ever mentioned? Have I ever mentioned? I don't think I have. Hi, buddy. Do you see what's happening? It's Green Goblin. Do you see? Do you see? He doesn't see. He doesn't know what's going on. But yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I know. Shh. You go go back to sleep. I'm sorry. This shot alone gives me goosebumps. Cause that he was my favorite villain. He was my favorite villain out of the Spider-Man thing. I know, right? He loved him too, this cat over here. While the world... And then this, this is a, I'm curious to see if this is Hobgoblin, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna slow this down really quickly. Zero two five. That doesn't look like Ned. Wait. Wait. Is that him? It kinda looks like it. Are we getting two green goblins? Are we getting one green goblin, which we know is Willem Dafoe's green goblin? From Tobey Maguire, but are we getting this one as well? It's what it looks like. It looks like that. We can see his face. I don't think this is Harry. I don't think this is going to be Harry showing up to help fight against his father. I don't think so. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Tries to make you then we get this shot again of SWAT surrounding... Uh, SWAT and uh, DODC surrounding Happy and the building that it looks like again. The same building that... It seems like there's going to be a good, like, maybe 10 minutes surrounding this building. A good chunk of the movie surrounding this building. And it looks like Green Goblins in... Uh, it, what I've seen from the trailer and what's happening... Um, what I think is going to be happening uh, around this building is we're going to see Electro and Sandman. Because we've seen that in the trailer. We're going to see J. Jonah and Jameson there looking up at the electric and the sand and whatnot. And we're also going to get a Green Goblin pumpkin bomb. Uh, go through the window, because they're after Aunt May. Because, remember, Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin knows that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. He knows. He figured it out himself. He went for Aunt May in, in the Sam Raimi universe. So, it wouldn't be far-fetched to say that... Um, it wouldn't be far-fetched to say that he would go after Peter's family again and he would tell the rest of the Sinister Six who Peter is. Make you okay, there we get that shot of Happy again. This looks like magic mixed with technology, is what it looks to me. This doesn't look like... If I look at this, right, and I want to give, like, first thought of what this looks like, this looks like Strange trying to bring in someone else from another timeline. Whether it's himself from another timeline, or whether it be Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man and Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. I'm still, I still have high hopes for that, but I'm not expecting it. A lot of people are expecting it, and if it doesn't happen, they're just going to leave trash reviews on the movie because, hey, what they wanted to happen didn't happen, right? So I'm just keeping an open mind, but this looks like some sort of summoning, or they're trying to fix the spell. They're trying to fix the spell that was broken. That's what it looks like. We get another shot of Electro. This is Lizard over here. We also get Sandman in the middle. So we've got three out of the Sinister Six already. Um, we know Doc Ock and Green Goblin as well. But then this next shot is kind of interesting. So we get Peter. Is this the Iron Spider suit? No, that looks like a new suit. This is a new suit. This is a nice suit. Wait a second. That's a nice suit. I like that suit a lot. This is all my fault. This is all my fault. Everyone. There he's talking to Aunt May. He's talking to Aunt May over here. And then we get this shot. But this shot 
doesn't make sense. We've obviously seen those leaks of this area of the three Spider-Man talking, right? But this doesn't look right. Do you see what I'm saying? Peter's over here. He's going for Sandman. Sandman's looking directly at him. Who is Lizard looking at? Who is Electro looking at? Only thing I can assume is that... Let's be honest. We know that Marvel changes the trailers. We know that Marvel changes the trailers from what the movie actually is. We've seen it with Infinity War. We thought Hulk was going to be in Infinity War running pa or running next to Cap and Bucky and all of them. It turns out he was in the uh, Iron Giant suit. Was it called Iron Giant? I forget what it's called. We've seen... What I'm trying to say is we've seen the trailers edited in a certain way to make the trailer different from the movie. And doing it here would kind of be a security, right? It would kind of be a financial security type thing. Because if they show Toby and Andrew in the movie, yeah, it's going to get a lot of hype. But if they don't show them and they are in the movie, it's going to make people think, oh, wait, what if they're actually in there i need to go see this movie i need to go buy a ticket to see this movie it's basically a security of of getting people hyped to the point or where they're curious to the point to actually go and buy tickets to the movie to see if uh, their theories are correct right and obviously <clears throat> they're not going to they're not going to show like uh uh, uh, they're not going to shoot, I should say, a whole nother section for just the trailer, right? That costs too much on the budget. <coughs> Excuse me. What they're going to do is, they're just going to edit out things that they don't want. They're just going to edit out things that they don't want people to see. Which I'm guessing is the other two Spider-Men in this shot. Considering that Lizard is looking like He's fighting someone uh, like over here-ish, down below-ish, below our Peter over here. And then Electro looks like he's looking over here just from his body positioning. He's flying, but his head is suggesting that he's looking this way. Lizard is suggesting he's looking kind of downwards almost. Uh, Sandman is looking directly at Peter. So, <coughs> other two... Spider-Man confirmed. And then we get the shot at the end, which I want to talk about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Slow it down. Slow it down. Oh my, I think it's confirmed. I think... I think Toby Andrew has just been confirmed from the shot. Because here it seems Electro is about to fire his lightning this way. Right, you can't really tell. He could be about to fire his lightning, his electric at uh, at Spider-Man, at this Spider-Man over here. But Lizard is going to swing at someone over here. Sony messed up. Sony messed up. I think Sony, or they did it intentionally. Who knows? Who knows? They're gonna. Sw Lizard's literally about to swing at someone over here. Lizard is actually about to swing at someone over here. That's crazy. That's crazy. Did we just debunk it live on stream? Or an undebunk it? Then we got this shot over here. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what's falling. But it looks like something is built on or around the Statue of Liberty. And we also see there look what seems to be a news chopper of some sort trying to film this entire thing. Thing. I can't tell what this is. This could just be a piece of debris. We see something big falling on the stat off the statue. I don't know what it is. It's like a giant like flying saucer type thing. And then we see MJ fall. And I'm assuming that's Ned? That's Ned. Okay. Then we get Peter over here. MJ's falling. Then we get that shot. Right? Which gives me goosebumps again. Like, oh my god. So, we get our timeline, Ned. Who tries to save MJ, but he misses and now he's hanging off a pole. And it seems like Peter has to make a choice. His best friend or his love interest. 
is what it seems. And he jumps. Because I'm assuming Ned said probably, go, I'm fine. Right? And Peter knows maybe there's... Maybe Peter knows there's someone else, like, right behind him that can pull Ned up. Right? But we get her fall falling, which is a very similar sight, don't you think? The Amazing Spider-Man, Gwen falling. Right? And here's where my theory comes in of why... Well, we've seen the uh, the shot of Lizard trying to swing at something that's not there, which I'm assuming they edited out uh, the other two Spider-Men. But I think maybe Andrew Garfield Spider-Man is going to swing in here and try to save uh, MJ. As not just, not just doing it, but sort of a redemption type thing for himself since he failed himself. He doesn't want to see another fail thing like that again. Right? And we get this shot of, like, he's almost there trying to grab her. And I'm assuming something happens where Peter's, like, pulled back or something. Because that shot wouldn't work unless something bad happens, right? You wouldn't get, like, your hands this close. You would get a shot of, like, the hands being grabbed. But you wouldn't get a shot of it being, like, literally less than a fingertips away uh, from grabbing her hand. So I'm assuming maybe <clears throat> a Lizard or Sandman or... Electro or maybe even Green Goblin like comes in and like swoops Peter out of the way as he's about to grab and maybe Andrew swo swoops in and saves MJ. Maybe MJ dies. Who knows what happens? I don't know. Then we get the title for it. Then we get this shot. And we see the debris in the water around the Statue of Liberty. But more importantly, if I just move my camera. We see purple in the sky, which is kind of the colors we saw in the series of Loki, right? We saw that in Loki, the purple in the skies and whatnot. Is that the multiverse or is that someone else coming? Hell, I won't be surprised if in the post credit scene of this movie, we get to see Galactus. I won't be surprised. It's been a long time coming for that. I really will not be surprised. But this got, this has me curious. Because we get strange in the middle of it. This is kind of a similar scene to Dormammu, I've come to bargain. So maybe Dormammu's back? Who knows? They're starting to come through. They're starting to come through. They're starting to come through. And I can't stop them. And I can't stop them. They're starting to come through. And I can't stop them. What exactly does that mean? I have no freaking idea. Who is purple? If I'm thinking correctly, who leaves like a purple trail that's kind of connected in Marvel but could be to uh, the Spider-Man universe as well? I can't really think of anyone. Let me know down in the comments if you can think of someone. Um, the only person I can think of is Dormammu, but I don't think they'll bring that into a Spider-Man movie. Um, is that something lying leaving a trail or is that just like where the crack ends it could be just the um the multiverse splitting right now kind of like how we saw the purples of the spell going wrong probably the same thing but yeah it seems to be cracks forming it seems to be like cracks forming in the sky so i'm assuming it's the multiverse Yeah, it seems to be like cracks forming. So that could just be the multiverse. He says they're coming. And I can't stop them. What could that be? I don't know, but I'm excited. Really 